very much a simulation. We're gonna sweep around different mappings to just to collect as much data as we can. It's just a learning curve for everyone. Obviously today we are testing and trying to understand uh, what kind of preparation we need. It's definitely a very long and tough day for not only drivers but team members as well. It doesn't leave room for mistakes. The interesting part will be how to use the limited amount of testing because there's still not much before we go into qualifying. And with the different power levels we have in Formula E for qualifying and the race, we have to figure out what is the best to do in practice. One day is such a short time, you have to do as much preparation as you can. So you have to do a lot of simulation, practice using all the data we've collected from Donington, arrive to an optimum setup of the car. All of that has to be done before even going to the track. It's a long day, but I think for the fans that are there at the track, they're going to get to see a lot of on-track running, they're going to see a lot of different strategies and the way different teams work. And I think it'll be really exciting. We're going to come into the pit lane and drive into the garage door so the car will be turning the other way. Then you have to jump out of the car fast, jump into the other car and buckle up as fast as possible. You have one minute to be from inside to outside of the garage. It's not easy. We had a minute when we were practicing today and um, let me tell you, it's a little bit tight. It is completely different. It is forget everything you know about racing to this point and you have Formula E. It's going to be amazing. I think the feeling is amazing to walk the grid with everybody here. It will only get better in Beijing when we have a public around the real race, but this is really, really amazing. I mean, you know, only in two years to put the championship together like this with the new technology, new cars, drivers. We're really, really happy.